They're just hoping they don't slip up today against Michigan State. The Nittany Lions hoping to wind up in the Fiesta or the Orange Bowl pour onto the field here at Happy Valley. ABC Sports presents college football from the Big Ten, the Spartans of Michigan State against the Nittany Lions of Penn State. A shocker in the conference. No team unbeaten. Ohio State and Northwestern share the title, but the Buckeyes go to the Rose Bowl because Northwestern lost a non-conference game. For Penn State at five and two now, they're dreaming of a spot in the Alliance Bowl. Michigan State wants any bowl. And so Chris Gardner, the junior number 14, kicks it off to Penn State. This is Chris Campbell, number 11, at the goal line. Campbell swings far to the right. Bad decision down at the 14-yard line. And here comes senior Wally Richardson. Now, his touchdown interception ratio, not as good this year as it was a year ago. But there have been injuries in his offensive line. He lost his best outside wide receivers. And Wally Richardson, the coaches will tell you, is a stabilizing force. The Chili's backs and receivers. Number 39 is the man to watch. A week ago against Michigan, they started him out on the flank. And on second down, brought him on an end around. Let's see where they line up Enos. They're going to put him in the I formation behind Jason Slode, who is a load at that fullback spot. And on a play fake, Richardson fires complete. And he put it in the hands of his tight end, Keith Allsummer. Richardson given good protection. This line has played together for four consecutive games. Barry Tilsch stabilizes them at center. John Blick, the improving freshman tackle, number 78. They will work against this front seven with number 22, Reggie Garnett, back at middle linebacker. He'll be looking for Enos. On first and 10, with the ball out of the 28-yard line, Enos comes in motion, going to play fake again, and Richardson this time comes to the other side, but favors his tight end all summer. And the senior, 6'4", 250 pounds, makes two stops against this Here second end. First and 10. And Richardson throwing the ball, swings it to Enos, a good receiver. And the young man from Ohio crashes across midfield, and it appears to be another Penn State first down. And it is to the left or the wide side of the field. He's going to bring the end around fake Campbell, and he's going to throw it. Gives Richardson a lot of time, right side, right throw to their man Harris and he does the rest six quick points as Aaron Harris comes out but it was a tremendous fake on a scripted play by Richardson on the end around he needs that three-minute category fake to Harris 25 then he sneaks outside the fake pulled up the linebackers but it also pulled up the free safety there's no one back there in position good speed as you said Brandon he has tailback abilities and taking another look you'll see he sucks up this free safety Corey right there with that fake Fine. He runs up. He's going to play run. Oh, it's not a run. It's not a reverse. It's a touchdown pass going to Harris. Well executed. Good call. Now, Coach Saban told us last night in our meeting that what he wants after a Penn State touchdown is a good return. And finally, they put it in the big man's hand. And here is Mason, and he is stopped. Now, that brings the crowd into this game at the 15-yard formation. Now, Jeff Carter's 81 at the top. And they run Dwayne Goldburn, the senior. The defensive front seven, and they'll go the distance. Pilardi's the leading tackler for the Nittany Lions, and number six, Collins, drops back as a pass defender. Very quick as an outside linebacker. It's in that secondary where the Nittany Lions will have to hold up today. And here comes Goldburn, Herring with a shoe-top tackle at the 26-yard line. And two intercepts and a deflection for a third. Goldburn in motion. Schultz quickly moves to the right, fires complete to Carter, who's out of bounds. That's number 34, Brian Miller, who is not back there with Kim Herring, who is the star. So, Shino Prater, number one, must hold up. Michigan threw a touchdown pass over him in that area a week ago, and Michigan State figures not only to throw against number one, but they're going to bring the run. Number one is the cornerback to the short side of the field. They move Carter down away from him. 
and Tate goes bump and run on him, and they come back with Goldburn. Goldburn runs right at Prater, and he is down at the 49. Base 4-3, looking for Lardy's coming. Filardi read the run, got in on the youngster that time. The football here with that peripheral vision. Got him. Urban bounces, first down, and he is Penn State. Strikes early and leads it 7-0. Schultz on a little bit of delay, and Goldburn going nowhere. This is the, the slot man is Carter. Three wide receivers. Mason's outside him. Schultz looks middle. Comes straight down and is caught by Mason. First down, Michigan State. they go out as a pass receiver. Play fake. Schultz rolls right, short side under pressure. Incomplete. They could not. <laughs> Third down for the Spartans. Delay, Goldburn, and it is extremely well defended by Matt. Fornetto. He read that tackle and Fornetto got it. And Gardner attempts a field goal that is a 49-yarder. Had a long leg warming up today, and this one's good. Michigan State on the board. So, action here early. Penn State leading the Spartans. 7 threes our score. First and 10 for Richardson. He snaps one off to Enos, who had flanked out to the left. And he's drilled out of bounds. So Richardson, 5-5 five of five to start the game. Here's Enos to the right. Steps into that hole. You are looking at a spring. You're a vicious demotion receiver. Richardson wants to look in his direction. Comes back to the short side of the field. And he's got Juravicious at the 49-yard oh, line. So it is second down and long for the Nittany Lions. First down like that for the Nittany Lions to the 40-yard line. They lined up directly behind Richardson. Tight end is to the left. Richardson with that short drop. Suspicious, and he's tagged. He makes the play call. Not too noisy now. He's going to take a short drop and pop it complete to Alzheimer. He saw that Alzheimer was uncovered on that side. And it didn't. He's finished doing his graduate teaching. Now he's doing a little teaching on how to catch the football on the field. He taught seventh graders geography. Who sat out the second half of an Indiana game here for Penn State. Came back strong against Northwestern. Enos stepping to the right. On the twist, the ball down. Fumble! Michigan State pounces on it. So Curtis Enos turns it over, trailing 7 3. Toss to Irvin. Irvin cuts inside the fullback block. And here the young man from Florida rushes. Motion receiver at the top was Carter. Snyder to win the game at the same time. Kerr the tight end to the right. Schultz looks for Irvin, puts it in his hand. First down, cross midfield, and breaks the tackle to the 39-yard line. Second down for the Spartans. Fake a delay to Irvin. Snyder didn't buy it. Schultz gets around him, going to keep the football. And that time, Brader comes up and makes a nice hit on the question about that. Everybody knows that. See, play action fake, a lot of delay action there. Takes a little bit of time. And I really think they blew the protection on that because you should not turn Chris Snyder, number 91, loose. Kerr is the tight end. Schultz looks flat and covered. In trouble. Rush gets it off. And he hits Kerr, the tight end. And Kerr, they're going to go on fourth down. Irvin is the tailback. Schultz right under center. Irvin, it's jammed. Prater got a leg. He's not going to get the first down. Fumble recovered by Michigan State. Doesn't matter. Penn State's ball right there. That was fourth down. Ball belongs to the Nittany Lions. Richardson, line. eight of eight for 117 yards. And he's quite a young man. Outstanding student. He's already earned postgraduate scholarship money, although the NFL is certain to take a look at this young man. Wants to be a lawyer following his football days. Very quiet, kind of unassuming sort. The youngsters of Penn State rally around him. And the second down and nine. Here comes Enos on an end around. Enos crashes across midfield. First down for the Nidetko. No. Second and 11. And here is the handoff now to the backup tailback as they go. Play fake. Richardson in trouble. Slips away with his strength and good balance and makes his way to the 44-yard line. This game last week because of an injury. Really good. Oh, a beautiful bounce down at the one-yard line. Goldburn is the tailback. Conservative pound into the middle of the 
in-state defense to get out from where they are. They're going to try Goldburn and nothing doing. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. In the middle of that defense, Pilardi was in there, Sean Lee, the strong safety, and they jumped all over Goldburn, and now he does just get that one off. Campbell takes a big bounce for the Spartans. Fielded at the Nitty Lion, 45-yard line. Ozzy is the slot receiver, and Richardson barks out the signal in his direction. Steps away from the pressure, and now he's in a foot race. He'll have to put it away. Number 99. It's tough to convert third and 14. Richardson flares. Enos throws, though, further outside. Campbell, the intended receiver, and Hill to him. Now he sends him in motion out of the backfield. And Schultz rolls the pocket that way, throws high. Good catch by Irvin. Nice grab by the... Now comes up to press a little bit on Mason. And Schultz steps out. Not going to get this one off. Fumble! Penn State pounces on it at the 22-yard line. As the Nittany Lions force a fumble. is a little lackadaisical on this, Coach. Yeah, well, they get Fozell, gets her all the way around the outside, of, gets up inside pressure, and then Noble, 93, gets up here and gets around the ball as well. Big Fozell's got a pull. And they come back with the fullback, Aaron Harris, who scored the touchdown. Demetrius Woodson, incidentally, played a sensational game defensively today. That upset of Ohio State. Enos on the swing is cut off, lost his balance, and then his penalty flag. Was out on the screen pattern. There he is, 33. So safety blitz. Here they come, and they're all over Enos about a fourth down now carrying them down inside the 10-yard line why not see if you can continue to win the game of field position he pushes this one not quite as successful as the previous Prater taking the motion receiver Carter and it's Goldburn again twisting and spinning after the incompleted pass the toss to Urban led perfectly by Collins he saw the play Schultz, Pilardi blitzes, in a foot race, Schultz gets it off, incomplete, Prater defending long. For a touchdown on his first possession, one big play. Now Richardson, been throwing on first down, won't get it off, he is sacked, has to bounce back around their 35-yard line. They'll run the draw play with the fullback, and fumble, but Penn State. There's a guy that's doing a good job of coaching as well, that makes it. Ten yards for foul of five. Play fake. Richardson slips away in trouble. And he wanted the fullback incomplete to go. Rush coming. Got it. It's loose in the end zone. Gonna go through for a safety. A safety, and this score is seven to five. State gets the ball back, and Derek Mason hoping for a return, and here is the punt by Kenya. Mason coming out for the 28, 45, 40. Down at the 44-yard later. Schultz going to swing the ball out. Ooh. Urban double pass, good throw. Got it past him in Carter's hands, and they face the corner, and the safety's not there. A great time to call the halfback pass, a 56-yard strike. It was in the game plan. They loaded to the slot on that side, and oh, did Goldburn is in the game. Schultz inside lateral, Goldburn slips, got it. Little shuffle play, good execution, very, very clever. 348, it's 13-7, and now it's the Nittany Lions' turn. The youngster is Watson. 15. Good return, but a penalty flag as Watson breaks it to midfield and comes to the Spartan 45-yard line. So anyway, Penn State must come out of its own 15-yard line. Richardson rolling to the right away from Ledger. Throws complete to Juris Vicious. Now here comes Enos. Ganged up on. Been the last team to go anyway. Come to think about it because they didn't play. Fire complete first down. And that time down Second down and ten for the Lions. The draw play. And they break it. To the 45-yard line. Four-yard line. Fake Enos goes deep down the far side. Double coverage penalty that time. 15 yards and a first down. 
That time, the Spartans do not get away with it. Number 10 on the corner. And the man coverage. Now you've got a smaller guy at six foot against the six foot five guy. See that leverage advantage right there. The ball up high. Good concentration. He catches the ball inbound. Doesn't matter if he interferes. When you're that big and strong, you go get the ball. This guy leads the country in average yards per catch of the top 50 receivers in the country. They're so pretty. We've got to take another look at that one. Mm, not everybody can make that play. You've got to be up there in, in the clouds at that six foot five range. The Lions, a first and goal. And on their first carry, they come back with Aaron Harris for the score. He has scored both their touchdowns. And twice here in the first half. Carter's the motion receiver. Goldburn picked up by Snyder. And it'll be one. You see him slant to the underneath. There he goes right up, and Big Flo says, hey, that's against the law. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Need to reach their own 44 for a first down. Go for roll. Short coming fires. That's a first down at the 40. Pressure. Short's coming. They set the screen. They let him come in, and Goldburn, the ball carrier, he shook away from Collins. Oh, oh, the ball the slot on an outside pattern. Collins is coming, and Irvin picks him up on the block. And Schultz waits to go deep. Fires it toward Carter. They play last second Hail Mary. Second. And then Schultz goes back. He's a second off, and now he fires long on the last play of the half. Mason up, and it's intercepted by Herring. So Herring, who picked off two against the Wolverines, has one here as time expires on the first half. Been an interesting first half. Penn State leads it 14-13. We've had a little bit of everything, including a blocked punt for a safety and a 49-yard touchdown pass to a fullback for the Nittany Lions who scored on their first series of the game. We've also had the old halfback option pass, and Irvin tossed a beauty for the Spartans to Niger Carter. So coming Penn State, up, you can see from the numbers what we had cooking in the first half. Pretty even all the way down the line. Total yards advantage to Penn State by 51 plays, just three plays difference with the advantage going over. But the big thing, Mitch, uh, Penn State hasn't done real good in the is that third down conversion situation. Mason uh, from the four. To the 20-yard oh. line. Carter, who caught that touchdown pass in motion. And the first play goes to Irvin, and Irvin bangs to the 30-yard line where it'll be close corner on that side of the field. They overload to that side. Schultz fires underneath to Carter at the 35-yard line. Right there. They're rolling the quarterback out to get outside the rush to the left of the street. Now, good to see him wrap the arms. As he comes up now to take the snap on first and 10, the ball on the 41-yard line. They show a double zone coverage right now. Show bump and run, and they run against it with Goldberg exploding. First down and 10. Play fake to Goldburn. The Schultz gets time. Fires middle. High deflected. Incomplete. Had to throw the double. Schultz. Middle. Incomplete. And that was excellent coverage that time. But now I guess it's the hero here at Penn State. And, you know, he has to play of a monster game today. They anticipate yeah, a Penn State the first half, and uh, this one was under high pressure. Campbell lets it go toward, and it is bounced back by Octavius Long. He downed it inside the five-yard line. Perfectly. Irvin offset to the right. Schultz looks back in that direction. Just gets it off. Irvin's got it at the 30-yard line to the 25, and it will be marked coming in motion. Goldberg checks in. Fumble! Penn State's got it! Herring and Prater go after that loose football at the 20-yard line, and the Spartans turn it over. They are good deep handoff, so you know there's no problems there. He's got it tucked away in there. Both hands are over the ball right now. And then out it comes. Aaron Collins got it stripped. Prater gets Behind, slowed, he'll get the call, back beautifully, five yards, and uh, Enos in motion, leaving the fullback for protection. The 
fullback now goes out. Richardson goes long to Enos incomplete as he overthrows him. Puts this one off. Mason will let it bounce. Thought better of trying to make that running catch. Flanker with Cedric Irvin. Leaving Goldburn behind Schultz to help protect. Schultz fires complete. They hit Carter for a Michigan State first down. Ten for the Spartans. Ball short of midfield. And this is Goldburn, and he is wrapped up. The heart of that defensive line, and that play was made by number 93, Mr. Noble again. And Schultz fires Carter at the 40-yard line. They'll bring Rams to the right side of the formation and balance it. And this is Goldburn again. Middle open. 20. A 34-yard run. Irvin over to the right. That long in motion. Schultz gets time. Waits, fires, intercepted. You can run it back. They've got to catch him. It is picked off by the safety. 45, and down he goes. So it's only six First down and 10. Enos breaks it on the left side for a first down. For 39, Curtis Enos. Right. Here he goes, nice block by Henderson, 69, full back up inside, and he has that size and then the acceleration to bounce side. He gets a good block down five. Lance Bull's eye here today. Wind up in Tempe or Miami, and suddenly they're in a dog fight with Michigan State. Short drop, fire complete, Campbell, Campbell slips the tackle, first down, Penn State. See, he did that same ball. Blitz. Go, go, give me Richardson falls, handing it off to Enos. They stretch him out, and he still makes it to midfield. A vicious, the motion receiver. Go, go, go. Enos again breaks to the 39-yard line. First and through it. Corner chases him. They look toward that direction, throw underneath. And the Nittany Lions are on the move as they down at five. The offensive line did a good job here, too. He gets a good block by Cleary right there. But this guy can run. You can't grab him with your arms or your just shoulder pads. You've got to use your whole body to bring this guy down. He is a man playing in college football. 34-yard run for Enos. Now will they come back here with Aaron Harris, number 25, for his third score? They load with three fullbacks. Here's Harris. There's number three. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Well executed drive, and it finishes with a little counter step. They're going to run to the left all day in short yardage. Watched them do that on the practice field. They load up with those three backs in there. Yeah, they'll motion to the right. I watched them work on this in the practice field. They roll. Fire. Deflected. It's a spectacular catch because he had to maintain concentration. Look at the eyes. Look at his eyes. He knows where that ball is. Excellent job. And good defense. The ball on the 27-yard line for the Spartans. This is Irvin. He watched Enos, and now he will attempt to respond. Irvin to the 30. Irvin slips out left side it is complete to Mason at the 39 if they first down for the Schultz fires complete to Carter Carter for 11 yards out of bounds are chewing up yardage here again they come back Football! Urban gets back on it very quick reaction the ball was stripped away from the second and 15 Goldburn in Schultz the throw three wide out they're gonna throw the screen they put it in Goldburn's hands 40 great call by Tranquil it breaks open to the 20 yard line what a call in that second. four down linemen now for the Lions Pilardi backs off at that middle linebacking spot Urban sprints out to the right Urban breaks his tackle and he'll run for nine yards and out of the fullback is back 
over the middle of it. He steps his way to the five-yard line. Make it second. Colburn stops short of the goal. It's fourth and goal. Down three-yard field goal attempt to tie the game. He's got it. An odd score, but we are deadlocked at 22. That's a score you don't see very often. Look at this, still remaining even. Penn State picking up just a little bit on the first down category, but still struggling on third down conversion. Michigan State picking up time of possession there. Big edge that way right now. Turnovers, Michigan State, it says four. 39 will be assisted off the field for the Spartans. Cleary checks in as the fullback. Richardson on first down, puts it in Campbell's hands. Surprises the Spartan defense. They're vicious, their best goes through to the short side. Richardson fires, wants his ace, juggled, battles for nine yards after making the tight end. Enos smashed for what appeared to be a first down. An H back looks for them. Enos behind the fullback, cuts right, left, back to the right, and weaves his way. Enos goes in motion on third down. They're going to come at Richardson with that look into it. Hits a man at the 25-yard line. It's Campbell, and it's a first down. Real good call by Fran Gantner to get outside. He anticipated the blitz face, but he got the one-on-one -on -one coverage right now. See, they backed him off there, and here he is throwing it out there, and they try to regroup and get back up. With Austin, they're the two outside linebackers surrounding Garnett. Richardson sprints right. Fires complete to Jura Vicious for eight yards. Venus behind Clary looks through for the first down to the toe. Need him right now. First down. Nittany Lions. And they put it in Clary's hands and he bangs for the seven yard line. Venus sprints to the left. Canoe the free safety and he broke away from him, but no. Clary is directly behind Richardson. He'll lead Enos. Enos steps back, cuts down, Penn State. What a career this young man has ahead of him. <laughs> they will just go a line of scrimmage. First, you get a nice block there. And now you get the guard, Marsic 71, kick out right there on least 44. With good power running up inside, you get the score. And long, they show a slot to the field side. Schultz looks back the other way, and it is Kerr with his third catch, and it's a first down. First down for the Spartans. And here comes Irvin, the freshman, slips a tackle. He loses it to 35. Hang on. Midfield, and he'll go out of bounds. Pushed out over there. Schultz comes straight back. Deep. Got it. At the two-yard line. First and goal. Niger Irvin is the running back. Here comes Cedric. Touchdown, there. Good tackle. Penn State denied him the goal. He signals Irvin over to the left, and the quarterback kept it on the keeper for the touchdown. Schultz takes it across, and now they're one point away from tying 29 all. It was the quarterback keeper. Schultz for the score. Timeout. Enos stays in, and why not? Alzheimer goes in motion. Play fake Enos. Richardson. Come on! Spartans jump in the middle and they've got it. On the sack, the ball is guard loose. Spartans with a first down at the 13-yard line. They put it down at the Penn State 14-yard line. Turn in motion. And Nelson fumbles. Schultz, but he's down. Kimberly rules that he's down at the point. On the first down, I blitz you. 44, Nelson coming off the corner. They don't pick him up. Pow! He knocks him down. He gets a little help on the other side from Brandon Short. Second down now. Here's Urban. He's cut off. Blue shirts, each from Gardner, yet this is third and 12. And Schultz steps to the right side. Receivers are covered, and he had to throw it away. So it'll be field goal time. Oh, this one this year from this distance. He takes them. This time he misses. Second down and nine. On the sprint, Richardson deflected off to a vicious, and he was defended there. Now holding it. Play fake Enos. There's complete to a vicious. 
And he's down to the Spartan 40-yard line. So Joe Juravicious, the best wide with the play action in that. It really froze the linebackers. Now, that allowed the receiver to cross from the bottom of your screen into the middle of your screen right there and get there. Otherwise, those linebackers are dropping back. Juravicious stays in after the 26-yard gain. Enos cuts back, still battles, breaks free, and it could be Enos coming in motion. Richardson saw he was covered. He fired back to the middle, and Alzheimer for the first down on third down. Good play by Richardson. The and their fans ball at the 27. Enos down to the Nittany Lions. See, you don't all three timeouts for Nittany. Penn State just slipped the backs after the timeout, and they run the fullback instead of Enos, and that was Richardson. And here is Enos. He slips through the there we go. The young man from Georgia. He has not missed one all year inside the 30-yard line. He's 12 for 12. But this does give Michigan State a few seconds. There's the 30-yarder. Joe Paw and the Nittany Lions take a three-point lead. And the Spartans. And the other thing that Joe knows over there is there's no Schultz coming in. There's a where that we are that they're going to have to use a backup quarterback. Penn State leading by that field goal 32 to 29 over Michigan State in a wild game. The Spartans, unfortunately, now are shorthanded as they have lost their quarterback, Todd Schultz, to a knee injury. Kick there. So that's the difference as it now stands. The kick is along the ground, and it'll be taken down right to the General Scholarship Fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements. So here comes Burke. With the game over in Happy Valley. And Penn State wins it. And Paterno immediately looking for Coach Saban on the other side. Another thing I like about Joe, he finds the other coaches without the assistance of a state trooper. He can still dash across there pretty good. 